What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist and today we are talking about all the brand spanking new models that were revealed during the Las Vegas Open. Now they revealed a lot. We were bombarded, barraged, we were being overloaded with awesome models and let's talk about them. First and foremost, my favorite reveal probably has to be from the Skitari. It's strange because I for one, uh, I mean I like the Skitari. Their whole steampunk, cyberpunkness is pretty, pretty cool. However, the latest thing that they revealed, that flyer, it wasn't hitting. Like it looked like, why is it? They have, why does it have these wings? That it looks like the Wright brothers created. But anyway, these models are really cool. So let's start off with the Taraxi. The Taraxi are very reminiscent to the intercessors of the Primaris Marines. Um, their flyers, they got this like jetpack, wing wing pack thing, and they look really badass. From the models, you can kind of see that they have three different type of weapons. One looks like a flamer, the other one almost like a bolt. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> it looks very uh, like modern-ish. Um, so they look really cool. Um, on top of this, they have these awesome units that they're just really cool. They're called the Cerberus Raiders or Riders, and they are riding these like mechanical dog horse things. That looks really badass. I really, really love the mounts for Age of Sigmar. And to see mounts coming into Warhammer 40k as these things is amazing. Um, usually, when you see the mounts in Age of Sigmar, they have like swords and stuff, but these guys have guns, so it's really awesome. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorite releases that was showcased during the Las Vegas Open. Before I continue, I do want to say that I'm going to put the Warhammer Community article link down in the comments, or not the comments, in the description, so you guys can go over everything in more detail on your own time. But let's continue on with another reveal that took me by surprise, and that was that... Yes, the orcs are getting something pretty big. So they kind of teased it, but Gaskul Mag Uruk Thraka is getting a new model. They pretty much just showcased like the little Gretchen that he has on his base. Um, but to see a new, um, I was going to say Wazdaka, <laughs> but to see a new uh, Thraka is really cool because the model that he currently has, it's very boxy and I think the scale is way off. But yeah, to see a new orc model, that's going to be pretty sweet, and I'm sure Gershwan is all over that. Continuing on with the new reveals, we will go over to the Blackstone Fortress, where they revealed a very interesting choice, and that is the Zote. Zotes are super old school, um, and they have a lot to do with the Tyranids, but if you want to learn more about that, Gershwan made a video yesterday. I will try and link it at the end of this video so you guys can go ahead and check that out for more information as to what a Zote is and how it may impact the lore for the Tyranids in Warhammer 40,000. But I do want to say that the model looks pretty sweet. I, for one, really enjoy everything that the Blackstone Fortress has put out model-wise. They're very um, dynamic and different in the types of models and posing that they do. And to see a Zote is really cool. Like, if they can do this, like, it could literally bring in every single type of Xeno species into the Blackstone Fortress, so we'll have at least a model for all the major species throughout the galaxy. Jumping over to the Warhammer Underworld's Beast Grave stuff, we have three new models for Nurgle. Now, the models here, they look, they look really awesome. I really love them, and you could use them as a stand-in for like a Nurgle Terminator Lord for both Age of Sigmar and Warhammer 40k. I, for one, am thinking about picking this up just because of the awesome sculpts for these models. Um, just, I'm, I'm getting like awesome ideas for like conversions and stuff like that. So, definitely a must see to see what else uh, Wargrave puts out because these Nurgle stuff, the worm spat, <laughs> uh, they look amazing. I really love them. And speaking of Age of Sigmar, they revealed a lot. Um, for one, the elves are getting two new units. Um, at least I believe they're high elves or something like that. You got some like dudes with some spears, and you got some cavalry guys, and then you have this awesome K 
character here. I don't even know what exactly he is. Uh, but he's all armor and no person inside. Um, which looks really cool. Almost like a hollow suit of armor. And the way they have the model, it's like you could see portions of where like his legs should be or his arms should be. And they're not there. So uh, it's really cool to see how they did this. So, I don't know if that means he's more of a delicate model. Like he might break easier. Um, but speaking of breaking easier, this guy here. Whew, this guy if you even look at it weird will break if it falls that's it wings are shattering the dude is falling apart there's no saving this model if you're gonna play it play it with like a bubble <laughs> wrap and you gotta put it behind a glass box and don't touch it and don't play it and don't even use this guy cuz it is gonna break man it's an awesome sculpt awesome idea and everything but way way too fragile looking Sphinx is cool I'll give them that, but... Ugh. <laughs> and then finally they reveal that they have a new battle tome for the Seraphim, aka the Lizard Folks. This was always a race that I was always drawn to. Um, they look really badass, the whole, like, Aztec kind of theme to it looks really badass. You have, like, pterodactyls and T-Rexes and stuff like that. The Slan, aka the old ones, <laughs> are there. Uh, so... I don't know, I might pick this up just for the lore, because I'm sure the art's going to be amazing, and who knows? I mean, I already play Night Haunt, maybe my second Age of Sigmar army will be the Seraph, and time will only tell. Another thing that they kind of mentioned, but it wasn't like a huge deal, is that if you play Forge World units into your 40k armies, um, obviously you have the index that shows you the points and the rules and all that, that's going to get updated. So we're going to have, gonna have new books coming out that give you the new updated rules and new updated point values for those models, as well as I think they're going to like solidify um, the Adeptus Custodes models and points in an actual book. Because I think when they came out with the like the heavy Telemann Dreadnought, it was experimental rules. Um, so I think they're going to actually say these are the official rules. So that's also pretty cool if you have Forge World models in your 40k armies. However, the last thing that I do want to talk about, I mean, there's a little bit more in the article, but that is that we have the Angels of Death coming out. No, they're not models. It's not a new army or anything like that. It is the animation, the official GW animation for the Blood Angels is coming out this year and they have like a little teaser trailer here and uh, the art just looks pretty phenomenal um, I really hope that it's entertaining and it's like pretty cool um, because they have a lot to live up to because they've been like teasing this and promising us like an epic new like animation or a little series and uh, this is it's gonna compete against like Hell's Reach and Astartes and all these other fan animations out there Death of Hope so I mean if these like self-funded like one person two people teams can make like these awesome fan animations I mean GW's got a whole <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have like a whole group of people working on this so they got some uh, they got some high standards to meet but we'll wait and see after all all the cinematics for like the video games are really awesome the Don of War ones especially that I remember uh, but yeah there's a ton of ton <laughs> of models and info that was given to us today. So let me know what your thoughts are. How do you feel about this Katari and the whole aesthetics of like the leathery wing kind of thing, the cloth wings? Let me know what was your favorite reveal. And especially let me know what you think about the teaser trailer for the Blood Angel animation. I'm, I'm really liking it. Blood Angels are probably one of my favorite Space Marine uh, armies. So hopefully they do them justice, which it looks like they will. That's all I got for today. This has been the Sound Alchemist, part of one, part of one Mind Syndicate, <laughs> and I'm signing out. Peace.